We've been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have kept you. Come on. Let's get going. What's the plan? We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what did they board in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so. Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of paying both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right? I could have told you. <laughs>
You want us to come out? We'll come out! Yes. Oh, Bill! Guns on the ground, now! Both of you, don't do it! You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Chef! I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what, six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Maka! Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we're making of things.